Okay, so what you can see here is the um, first sort of draft layout of my um, complete IMA system on the bench um, to do some more research and work on the failing uh, voltage control modules and possibly bit failures we need to get a working IMA on the bench so this is a sort of an evolution of my earlier BCM MCM uh, an OEM display thing on the bench which are some of you amazing from years ago so I'll just run you through it so what we've got here is got a, a BCM and an MCM we'll have some sort of voltage fooler tap fooler here feeding these taps we'll have a switchboard uh, and this will be connected to a high voltage power supply it'll all be plugged in so the switchboard will be operating as normal uh, we've got a rack's nest of wires here but these uh, main connectors here are the ones that go forward in the car to the ECM side uh, this is the DC to DC connector so I may mount the DC to DC on here just for completeness sake uh, we'll have an ECM here uh, and I'll sort of fiddle around with that and this is the little motor I bought recently off uh, eBay 30 quid this is a uh, three phase DC brushless motor uh, it's only 40 watts um, it's just it's just hacked down there it's got no sensors commutation sensors so I'll have to do something about that make a, some sort of fake sense commutation sensors to feed the MCM but um, for the IMA start cycle it doesn't need the com commutation sensors initially um, because obviously the, the motor is not turning when you first uh, press the start button and the IMA doesn't need that to fire up the motor initially so if we can get it to do that well at least we'll know that bit's working so we've got the phase sensors in here and this is probably the most interesting bit so far this is the innards of the uh, motor drive module so we have the IGBIT module here, there's some big filter capacitors that are still attached to it. And this is the bit we're probably most interested in at the moment, this is the voltage control module. And these are the ones which I've replaced at least four of now in the UK for customers and they are failing uh, and very complicated bit of kit. And we're never going to find out what's wrong with it until we get an IMA uh, working on the bench. So that and the IGBIT now is accessible, so we can probe it with uh, scope etc to see what's uh, wrong with the signals. And uh, hopefully, so... Well, what we'll have here is we'll probably have, uh, so as I said, we'll have the DC to DC here, and then finally over here we'll have the um, uh, dashboard mounted, just for completeness's sake. So that's where we are at the moment. I've only been working on it for a few hours. But we're getting the basic layout sorted on my piece of 3x2 uh, uh, MDF. Uh, it'll all be screwed down and, and uh, mounted stably, and hopefully we should be able to power it up. So that's where we are at the minute.